I rise to address what happened in this chamber today and where do we go from here. The violence, destruction, and chaos we saw earlier was unacceptable, undemocratic, and un-American. It was the saddest day I've ever had as serving as a member of this institution. The Capitol was in chaos. Police officers were attacked. Guns were drawn on this very floor. A woman tragically lost her life. No one wins when this building and what it stands for are destroyed. America and this institution is better than this. We saw the worst of America this afternoon, yet in the midst of violence and fear, we also saw the best of America. It starts with our law enforcement, the Capitol Police, the National Guard. The FBI, the Secret Service, who faced the most difficult challenges but did their duty with confidence and strength. Many of them are injured right now. And it also extends to this chamber where both Democrats and Republicans showed courage, calm, and resolve. I'd like to recognize the members now who helped to hold the line. Mark Wayne Mullen. Tony Gonzalez, Jason Crow, Pat Fallon, and Troy Nails. Working with the Capitol Police, they ensured the floor of this chamber was never breached. These are the heroes among us. Thank you for this side of praise. Looking back on the past few hours, it is clear this Congress will not be the same after today. And I hope it will be the better. I hope not just this institution, but I hope every American pauses for that moment and thinks among themselves that we can disagree with one another but not dislike each other. We can respect the voices of others. There's many times we debate on this body and we should. There's many times we can get heated. I still consider Stinney Hoyer a very good friend. There's times I get upset, I'll call him at home to express what things I may not see fair or just, but that's the way we should handle things. The majority leader is right. We are all Americans first. But should we also think for a moment, what do we put on social media? What do we convey to one another? Just because you have a personal opinion different than mine, you have a right to say it. But nobody has a right to become a mob. And we all should stand united in condemning the mob together. We solve problems before our nation, not through destruction, but through debate. That is the heart of this democracy. I know what we debate today is tough, but it's just, it's right. This isn't the first side of the aisle that's ever debated this issue. I thought what Madam Speaker said back in 2005, this is democracy at its best when they talked about a presidential election in Ohio. These are the moments that we should raise the issue about integrity and accountability and accuracy in our elections. But you know what we should do, the next difference? Not just raise the issue, 
but work together to solve the problems. Now is the moment. Now is the moment to show America we can work best together. I will tell you, the size of the majority is slim, so it gives us the opportunity to make that happen. The only thing that can hold us back is the will of one another to do it. This side of the aisle always believes in working with anybody who wants to move it forward. That does not mean that we're going to agree 100% of the time. That does not mean our voice cannot be heard. That does not mean we cannot be treated fairly. We should be. That may mean on the size of committees. That means on our ability to offer an amendment. That means on our ability to have our voice. But at the end of the day, it helps us come to a better conclusion. By returning here to complete the work, we were sent to do, we are proving that our democracy cannot be disrupted by criminal behavior. We will not falter, we will not bend, and we will not shrink from our duty. <laughs> Let me be very clear. Mobs don't rule America. Laws rule America. It was true when our cities were burning this summer, and it's true now. Yeah. When, America, when Americans go to bed tonight, their lasting memory should not be a Congress overrun by rioters. It must be a resolute Congress conducting healthy debate. We may not disagree on a lot in America, but tonight we must show the world that we will respectfully but thoroughly carry out the most basic duties of democracy. We will continue with the task that we have been sent here to do. We will follow the Constitution and the law and the process for hearing valid concerns about election integrity. We'll do it with respect. We will respect your opinion. We'll respect what you say. And we're willing to listen to it. I think the nation will be better for it on both sides of the aisle. Let's show the country the mob did not win. We have a job to do it. Let's do it with pride. And let's be better when the sun rises tomorrow. With that, I yield back, Madam Speaker. <laughs>